It just breaks my heart to see this country so divided. Every issue, <laughs> one-sided. Well, it's a dangerous path, and well, it's completely misguided. After all, it's united with standing. Well, you know, <laughs> divided we fall. I think back to the plaque on the Statue of Liberty. Says, give us your time and your paw. Give us your time and your paw. Give us your time and your paw and your huddled masses. Well, then I look at the price of real estate and I think to myself, yeah, well, good luck with that because nowadays it's getting harder and harder to find a place to stay. And like I said, it just sort of breaks my heart. But then I close my eyes and I had a vision. Oh, yes, I had a vision. And in this vision, well, I saw a wall. Oh, but no, not that kind of wall. Not the kind of wall that keeps people out. Not the kind of wall that divides us. No, in my vision, I saw a different kind of wall. A wall that welcomes people. A wall where people gather. A wall where people come from all over. Oh, good Lord, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, that's not the one. No, the wall I'm talking about, you can find just about anywhere. And it's a magical wall, because no matter your religion or the color of your skin, just like little baby Jesus of Bethlehem, well, this wall's going to let you in. Because you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Walmart parking lot. It's pulling on in to find a vacant spot. This is the last all-American melting pot. Yes, and everywhere you go across the USA, they're just a stone's throw from the interstate. Nobody's keeping track how long you stay. And it's a whole lot cheaper than the KOA at the Walmart parking lot. Just pulling on in to find a vacant spot. This is the last all American melting pot. Well, Billy Bob and Bob and Sue, they drove up from Alabama to the Walmart parking lot in Helena, Montana. They brought their pit bulls, a tabby cat, they even brought a nana. She shot before some panties in the slippers and pajamas at the Walmart parking lot. She's pulling on inside a vacant spot. This is the last American melting pot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got CEOs dressing fancy clothes, driving these big ass diesel pushers. That costs more than your home. Yeah, that thing costs more than your home. Unless you live in Bozeman. Yes, and we got we got retired plumbers. The wife is thrifty. She built a custom pop top for the F-250. Good lord, that woman is thrifty. Just look at her. She built a custom camper for the F-250. There's a grizzled old vet who served in Vietnam Parked next to some hippies in a VW van But neither one would hesitate to lend you a hand Well, that's what's so great about the promise land And the Walmart parking lot or Just pull it on in to find a vacant spot This is the last American melting pot Yeah, so let's say you're uh, traveling across the USA it's getting sort of late, and well, you need a place to stay. So you say, hey, babe, why don't we stay at the KOA? So you call up the KOA. And what do they say at the KOA? Well, it turns out that the KOA hmm, is $50 a day. What, well, $50 a day to stay at the KOA? You think yourself, no freaking way. But where else can we stay? Because the Sears and J.C. Penney's both went bye-bye. Besides them all, cops will kick you out, so don't even try. you find a quiet street in a neighborhood. Well, then they call the police. They think you're up to no good. And you can't park a Target. You can't park a Target. Uh, so you can't park a Target, because they put up a fuss. Why is it they think they're so much better than us? That's why you'll find me at the Walmart. Parking lot. Pull it on in, find a vacant spot. Good Lord. It's the last American melting pot. And if there's something you forgot, just go on in and do yourself a little shop. Cause you know that they got quite
quite a lot over there at the Walmart, right outside that parking lot. So give us your tired, your paw. Give us your tired, your paw, and your huddled masses. And then sip into the store for some cheap sunglasses. Oh, that reminds me. You can actually still buy CDs. Yeah, you can actually go in there and still get CDs. So why don't you go on in there, get yourself some, uh, why don't you go get yourself some ZZ Top CDs. Get yourself three ZZ Top CDs. You bring them home and your child says, Mom, Mom, what are these? I said, oh, baby, what are these? Well, these are ZZ Top CDs. Yeah, but mom, 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 what's supposed to do with these? Oh, baby, I'll show you what we're going to do with these ZZ Top CDs. So you head to your closet to get your CD player. But your CD player's not there anymore. And they don't even sell those at the store. Because ain't nobody buying CDs anymore. That's why you'll find musicians like me sleeping in the back seat over there at the Walmart parking lot. Pulling on in, find a vacant spot since the last of May. Melting pot, oh, it says quite a lot. You know where you're gonna find me, right? You know where you're gonna find me, right? You're gonna find me right there. Oh, isn't it the majestic against the Bridger Mountains? Home sweet home. Over there at the Walmart Park. 